Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amaryllis and today is the second installment of my skincare tour. So on today's installment of the skincare tour, I'm going to be going through all of my toners and essences. A little bit about my skin type, I have oily combo skin, so parts of my face are dry, parts of my face are oily, and all the products I'll be showing you are suitable for oily combination skin. Um, I will say that I'm not a licensed esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, so if you do have any serious skin conditions, I would recommend that you see a professional for that. These are just items that really work for me and I recommend them based on my experience. Um, after cleansing is typically when I will use a toner or an essence or I will use a toner and an essence, blah, 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 or I will use a toner and an essence depending on how bougie I wanna be or what my skin really needs at that time. And an essence is, basically like a toner but it's a little more supercharged and when I say supercharged I mean like it usually has a higher concentration of certain ingredients or actives and it's kind of like like a step above a toner if that makes sense all right so let's get into it so the first toner that I'm going to show you guys is the isn't tree green tea fresh toner looks like this as you can see, I'm already halfway through this toner. I really love this toner and that's why I'm talking about it first. I use this toner every morning with my morning skincare routine. Sometimes I use it at night if I'm just trying to simplify. Um, but this toner is so good, in my opinion, for keeping your skin hydrated and keeping it balanced. The claims on this says that it helps control excessive sebum for soft skin. And I would say that in combination with other items in my skincare routine, this has proven to control excess oil or sebum. And it's just like very refreshing. It smells good. I love the smell of green tea. So if you're like me and you like the smell of green tea, you will love this toner. Um, when it comes out, it's basically brown, like green tea, and it absorbs into the skin so quickly. Um, on mornings where I incorporate this in my routine and I'm feeling a little drier than normal I will go in with two layers of this and it will layer just fine Like it just really sinks into the skin refreshes it hydrates it and balances it uh, The next toner I'm going to show you guys is the Centella green level calming toner and this is from Purito This toner has Centella in it um, Centella Asiatica is one of my favorite ingredients in skincare. Um, it is very calming and very soothing. Um, it also helps to balance your skin. Um, if your skin is irritated, um, sometimes if I have like a light sunburn or maybe like I've been breaking out a lot, I will go in with products that have Centella Asiatica as the main or most concentrated ingredient and it calms down redness and soothes inflammation in the skin. Um, this toner is interesting because when I think of a toner and like I previously explained um, Toners are typically like a very liquid or watery consistency um, This is liquid, but it's kind of viscous a little bit thicker than a normal liquid um, and This for me, I don't need more than one layer because it is a little thicker but it is very nourishing and calming to my skin um, so I really enjoy this and as you can see it looks like I haven't used a lot but you don't need a lot of this product so a little bit goes a long way and you'll get your money's worth because it's gonna last a while so uh, next one I'm gonna show you guys is the origins mega mushroom relief and resilience soothing treatment lotion looks like this so I know that this says it's a lotion, but this is, it's not a lotion like, you know, like a body lotion. This is basically a toner. And um, this is very good for anti-redness. So 
I typically have redness in these areas, like right on the sides of my nose and on my nose, sometimes right here in the middle of my forehead. I tend to get red. Um, I know that that can be attributed to hormones, but sometimes my skin is just red and my skin is also very reactive to, you know, any kind of touch or rubbing or anything like that. So um, whenever my skin is extra red or it feels a little sensitized, I will go in with this. So this is not an everydayer like my green tea one, um, but this is for special occasions, if you will when I'm super red and just like my skin is kind of angry, <laughs> I'll go in with this. And um, I believe it's the mushroom ingredient in here that is calming and it soothes redness. And this for me has worked like a charm. Whenever my skin is irritated and inflamed, um, this works really well. Okay, the next toner I'm gonna show you guys is the Dear Claire's Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. This toner is a staple for anyone who wants a minimal skincare routine. So in my opinion, uh, the most minimal you can get with the skincare routine is basically cleansing your skin, moisturizing, and sunscreen. Those are the basics. If you have that, you're good. But if you do want to introduce a toner into your routine, I would say that this is the way to go. It's basic. But it has all the ingredients you need for a well-rounded toner. It is super moisturizing. It's another one that, I don't know if you can tell in the bottle, but it's a little thicker than like a basic watery toner. And it does moisturize very well. Next is the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. If you've been following my videos, you'll know that I've mentioned this a couple times um, when I first purchased it. Also, when I did, I believe, my nighttime skincare routine, because that's usually when I like to incorporate this toner. Oh, let me show you what it looks like. In case you wanna go snatch it up. So this toner has AHA, BHA, PHA. Those are hydroxy acids that basically function as mild exfoliants and they work to cleanse the pore deeper than just the surface layer. This one has the AHA, BHA, PHA, but it also has niacinamide. Um, niacinamide is one of my hero ingredients. It's one of the ingredients that really turned my skin around for the better. Um, I have suffered with acne. I still do. I mean, you, you could probably see I got a little shiner right here, but niacinamide is just a really good multi-purpose ingredient it's good for skin brightening it's good for controlling sebum production like controlling the natural oils in your skin if you're very oily and you need that and it's also good for like minimizing the appearance of pores um, i like to use this on days when my pores feel clogged or congested i also like to use this after wearing a mask it helps to keep my acne at bay, and it helps to just clear out any of the gunk that is in the pores. The next toner that I'm going to share with you guys is my Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. It looks like this. It does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It tightens the pores. Well, it appears to tighten the pores, and it keeps the oil production at a minimum it helps to balance it helps to brighten um and this is actually specifically made for oily combination skin which is something i really love about paula's choice um, just a recommendation if you go on their site you can search by your skin type and they will bring up recommendations for your skin type for your skin concern and they will also explain why they use the ingredients they use this is super user friendly um, especially if you are a beginner in the skincare game and you're just trying to make a solid routine, I would definitely recommend Paula's Choice as a brand. And if you have oily combo skin, I definitely recommend this toner. The next toner I want to show you guys is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Deep Hydration Facial Toner. <laughs> this is a cult favorite. If you watch any kind of beauty Google if you watch any other kind of beauty or skincare videos you've probably seen this product um it looks like this this is the tiny bottle i put a I put a dent in this bottle for sure and you could see there's like rose petals in there 
It's really cool. Supposedly, there's some cool technology that Fresh uses to suspend these rose petals in the toner. Um, I don't know what it is, it's, but it is pretty cool. So this toner, I really, really love. This is another one that I would recommend for someone who's looking to just solidify a basic skincare routine. There's nothing intimidating about this toner. And I think that can be a problem for most people who are introducing themselves to skincare is that there's so many ingredients, so many brands, so many products that it can be very intimidating and you may not know where to start. Um, I would say that this is good for normal skin, this is good for dry skin, and this is also good for oily skin. So pretty much all skin types. This has made my skin very soft and supple, obviously with continued use but it just absorbs so well into the skin and it just feels like it sinks in there really deeply to where the hydration that you experience is not just in the first hour of using the product, but you see it throughout the day that your skin is balanced and it's hydrated and this just does such a good job of maintaining the hydration level in the skin. All right, this next product I'm gonna show you guys. I put it in the toner category, but it's kind of in a category of its own. It's a tonic. Um, so this is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. And it looks like this. It's got this cool pump on the top where you just like pump it and then you put your cotton pad or whatever and you don't make a mess of the solution like trying to pour it out into your skin. But this is an AHA tonic. I believe the AHA that's in here is lactic acid. I really love this um, tonic for brightening. It's really good for brightening and it's also good as a chemical exfoliant to really like even the texture. If you have any skin texture, this is really good for that. Um, blackheads. In my opinion, this is really good for just kind of clearing them out. It's supposed to encourage like cell turnover or cell renewal. Whenever you use a chemical exfoliant, over time you are encouraging, you know, when you sweep those dead skin cells away, you're encouraging the turnover to happen at a faster rate, which will reveal a brighter complexion. And um, it just makes the texture super even and soft and, um, I really enjoy this toner. I don't use it a lot uh, because I feel like this is one of those that I pull out when I really, really need it. It's good like if you use it maybe once a week, twice a week. With chemical exfoliants, I will say that if you have never used them, you should err on the side of caution only because your skin may react to the exfoliation. Honestly, your skin can react to anything. So whenever you're um, experimenting with skincare, just make sure that you do a patch test so that you can see if your skin is going to react to it or if it should be fine. Normally, when you're first starting out on a routine with chemical exfoliants, it is natural to feel a little bit of tingling, but if you were to experience any kind of stinging or burning with a chemical exfoliant, that probably means that you shouldn't be using it. Uh, so if you are interested in using this product, try, if you can get a sample, get a sample, but just ease into it, try a little bit at a time. Okay, this next toner is also one that I would categorize in a league of its own, and that's twofold. First, let me show you what it is. It's the Sioris Time Is Running Out Mist. All right, so this Sioris product is the first mist I've ever purchased. And I love that it's a mist because it's super convenient on the days where I don't have time or honestly, I just can't be bothered with a super elaborate skincare routine. I reach for this to replace my toner and sometimes my serum step. And there's a reason why. Um, as I showed you, the product right here, you see there's, let me see if I can get it to focus. There's a liquid part on the bottom, and then on the top, there's oil floating there. And so this is what is called a biphase product because there's two parts to it. And in order to activate it and use it properly, you just have to shake it up, and then it will all blend together, and then you can spray it on your face. Now I, as I have mentioned, have oily combination skin. So since this does have oil in it, it's nothing to be afraid of. Oil on oily skin can actually 
make your skin a lot more balanced. So this will replace my toner and my serum step because of the um, watery element and the oil element. And this is super nourishing and super hydrating. Um, it also plumps the skin and leaves it very soft and it's very light. Even though it's an oil, it is not heavy on the skin. I know sometimes when we hear the word oil, we kind of think like maybe, I don't know, olive oil, cooking oil, whatever, but it's, it's light and it absorbs very nicely into my skin. All right, and I thought that was it for the toners, but it's not. This is the last toner I have, and this is actually a toner and a serum. This is the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum. It also has this really cool cap on the top that really prevents any kind of messiness. So I'm not sure if you can tell in here, but this is pretty thick. It's a lot thicker than any of the toners that I have, and I'm assuming that's why they call it a toner and serum. And the company probably also labels it as a serum because it has so many active ingredients. And when I say active ingredients, it's like when you look on the back of a label for any of your product, you'll see the percentage of the active ingredients versus the inactive ingredients. And the active ingredients are basically what they're claiming to perform any kind of changes on your skin. Things that will actually transform or change the appearance or condition of your skin. Uh, so this Clear Genius has BHA, which is beta hydroxy acid, witch hazel, niacinamide, zinc PCA, and Sika. Sika is another word for Centella Asiatica, which is what I covered in the beginning of this video. And um, these are all, this is like a really crazy cocktail of ingredients. Um, I love to use this as a toner slash serum. I won't put a serum on after this because of the ingredients. Um, but this <clears throat> is really good for clarifying the skin. Like I mentioned, I do have acne prone skin, so I love anything with a BHA in it. Um, and the fact that this also has niacinamide and centella means that it's well-rounded. So it's not only going to provide that chemical exfoliation, but it's also going to soothe any kind of inflammation with that centella asiatica. The niacinamide is gonna even out the skin tone, the texture, and also control the oil production. So I really love this because I feel like it's very well rounded and it covers a lot of bases. Okay, now we're going to move on to the essences. The first essence I wanna share with you is the Peach and Lily Wild Dew Treatment Essence. And this has Lotus and Bamboo Extract. And can we just talk about how pretty this bottle is? Like, this essence is super moisturizing. It is actually very watery for an essence, but it's very smooth to the touch. So it's a little difficult to explain, but this is very pleasing to apply. This is good for like brightening and it definitely gives a nice glow to the skin. Uh, so I use this essence when my skin is not necessarily experiencing any problems or bumps or irritation. I use this as a boost of hydration and brightening and just really like if I want a glow. Okay, this next essence I have is the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is the first essence I've ever purchased. I actually got it off Amazon and I'm about halfway through with it. If you guys can see that. This has a microbiome ferment complex. So, fermented ingredients in skincare are typically there to provide balance to the skin. The skin has something called a microbiome, just like your gut, and it's very important to the health of your skin that the microbiome stay balanced. And the fermented ingredients in here are supposed to do that. Now, when I use this toner, the very first time I used this toner, and this is very rare, but I saw an instant difference. My skin looked so much brighter. It was so plump. And like, I don't know if you've ever experienced like dull and dehydrated skin where it just kind of looks like, mm, you know, like it's just not the best it can be. I used this toner the first time and I was really amazed at the difference. Over time, 
it like brightens your skin and you have like a natural glow and it just makes your skin like nice and bouncy and plump. I know I'm saying plump a lot, but it's that's what it does. <laughs> so this I definitely recommend and it's also formulated for sensitive skin. So if you fall into the sensitive skin type category, this is definitely a good one for you to try. And um, I think it's a good beginner essence. Next essence I have is the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And this is a cult favorite. Like, if you go on any website that sells Cosrx, this is typically a really popular item, very highly rated. Um, this is snail mucin. So it's basically like the substance that a snail would secrete is what's incorporated into this formula, into this product. That sounds really gross. However, it's super effective for maintaining the hydration in your skin. I think I actually used this last night or this morning, I'm not sure. I mean, if you can just imagine the kind of slime that would come out of a snail, like it's sort of that consistency, but it's not sticky or like gross to apply at all. It's very smooth. It sinks into the skin. It's very hydrating. And um, this is good for dehydrated skin. I have oily combo skin, so I do have my days where I feel drier than normal or where I feel like my skin does, just needs a boost. So it makes it nice and smooth and supple and hydrated. So. The next essence I have is the Notorium Hyaluronic Acid Essence 2%. I have barely used this and that's because, and not to be rude, but I kind of got a little bored with it. I didn't really see, I don't know, it just didn't seem that amazing to me. I don't know. Like all these other toners I've had really good experiences with, but this, it just didn't seem that amazing to me. But what I will, I mean, I guess I can, I don't know, I'm just not that interested in it. Hyaluronic acid is pretty straightforward, I mean, it's in a lot of skincare products nowadays. It's pretty much a staple ingredient to provide hydration <clears throat> and balance the moisture content of your skin. So, I mean, I appreciate it for that fact that it's very straightforward and I really love Notorium as a brand, but I don't know, this just wasn't for me. It didn't really do much. Now Next is the Pyong Kang Yul Essence Toner and it looks like this. Can we just talk about this bottle though? I'm so in love with Pyong Kong Yule's packaging. All of them come in that classic blue container. And I don't know, it's just so pleasing to the eye. I love blue. Uh, so this is an essence toner. It literally has like four ingredients, four or five ingredients. I love the philosophy of this brand because they do use minimal formulations like they're not out here putting a bunch of crazy stuff in their products and they are very gentle on the skin. This toner is an essence toner so it's thicker than your typical watery consistency. Uh, but when I've used this, I feel like my skin just is very balanced and very hydrated and it just feels very luxurious to apply and that's why I really, I love this because my skin feels very refreshed and just super hydrated when I use this toner. So. All right, you guys, so that concludes my second installment of the skincare tour. These were all of my essences and toners. Please let me know in the comments below, you know, where are you in your skincare journey? What products are you loving right now? If you see them here or if I didn't mention them, I really would like to know. I just wanna say thank you, I appreciate you, I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the views, all the engagement, I love it. I really, really love it. And I just hope beyond anything else that in this little corner of YouTube, you were able to find some kind of rest and peace from the everyday things that we deal with and that it was somewhere that you could just chill and, you know, um, I don't know, just have a little self-care moment. So I love you guys. I will be doing another installment and the next episode is going to be about all my serums. And I think I might throw my masks in there too. All of the cool active ingredients that I have. So 
With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.